In this video, I'm going to show you the use of append to message history method. What is append to message history method? Append to message history method is the method which we have used previously in here on the on create method. We are actually appending the username and the message inside the message history box in the message box dot one XML file. So we are now going going to actually append the username and the message inside the message history box by using this method. I'm going to change its parameters one for username and the other for message. And then going to provide an if statement. If username is not equal to null and message is not equal to null, so you're going to actually append that username and message to the message box. So actually, if I just call to the app, I've created a, a message box which is actually representing this text view. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to actually append the username and message to it. So message, sorry, message box dot append, append, and I'm going to use username, and then plus I'm going to concatenate actually the enter slash backslash n means that uh, uh, the cursor would be then uh, uh, go down. Uh, which means that the, if you press the enter, it ex it's uh, give you a feeling of pressing the enter. So I'm going to press in that message box dot append and uh, message plus so, and that will be like uh, backspace and n. That's it. I'm just going to provide a lot of it, and that's it. Now we would be able to append that username and a message to our append. To, uh, to our message box. Now the last thing in this class I'm going to have to do is to use actually a message receiver class and that would be act as a broadcast receiver. So I assume that you would be familiar with broadcast receiver. Broadcast receiver is actually allowing us to send the messages within the system. So for example if the user 1 type in a message in here and he's actually sending the message to another users for their purpose we're going to actually use a broadcast receiver to actually alert the second user that the first user has actually sent out the message so I'm going to create a broadcast receiver public and I'm going to use class message receiver and it should be actually extending the broadcast receiver so extends broad cast receiver I'm going to create the class and I'm just gonna add unimplemented methods in here and save it I'm gonna use a bundled uh, uh, instance state uh, to get the message and to pass on the messages with each other so for that purpose I'm gonna make it a little bit easy for reading purposes I'm gonna use intent and here I'm gonna use bundle I'm gonna use extras is equal to Intent dot get extras. That's it. I'm going to create a string username, and that will be extras dot uh, get string. So I'm going to use info of message class and get the user ID from it for the user. And then I'm going to use string uh, message is equal to extras dot uh, get string, and uh, info of message dot uh, I'm going to use message text in here and then I'm going to check it out that whether the uh, the user has actually entered the message and username in here so I'm going to use if username is not equal to null and message is not equal to null then do the following so if uh, info sorry I'm going to use friends dot uh, username dot equals username then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to append it to the message history box so which means that uh, if the information of friends class of username equals to the username which we are actually sending it inside the message history box then we're gonna actually append that username and the message to the message history box so I'm gonna use append to message history box and username and message I'm just going to do it and save it.
Now I'm going to use local data storage uh, storage manipulator class for inserting that message and username inside the database. So I'm going to use local database storage dot insert, and I'm going to provide the sender that who is the sender. So I'm going to make use of the sender is actually the username which we are actually using here, and the receiver is the username of the service provider which is actually present inside the manager class. So service provider dot uh, username. I'm going to use the service provider dot. And actually, here is one problem: we can't actually get access to the manager or user directly. So for that purpose, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use info of message. Sorry, info of uh, friends dot. And here on, I'm going to use the username of it. That's it. And the message should be message. I'm going to save everything in that case and then I'm going to save once again and that's it now I'm going to actually create and uh, instantiate this uh, message receiver class which we have actually used in here that is message receiver class so I'm going to instantiate it by public and I'm just going to first of all actually provide a reference to it I'm going to use a uh, message receiver sorry receiver message receiver the new message receiver and that's it and that's the end of it